My name is Paul McClellan, and uh, I grew up in Penetang, Ontario, when I was a youngster, real young, when my father was overseas in the war, and I lived with my grandparents. And when he came back, we moved to Collingwood, and then eventually came down to the Niagara District. And I've been in Waynefleet and Port Robinson, and now back in Welland. I was in data processing when I first started working. And I was out at a convention in St. John's, Newfoundland. I met one of the most interesting women I ever met in my life and her shoes. Her name was Commander Grace Hopper. And she's the lady that coined the phrase debugging. And uh, she was uh, worked at the Naval Yard. And uh, after her presentation at this convention, I came back to Welland and I was I thought, gee, uh, there's so many people here who would like to hear her talk. I wonder if I could get her to come to Welland. And I called the Pentagon. Now, who would think of calling the Pentagon? Some screwball like me, you know? And I called the Pentagon and I got through to her. And I asked her, if she, would she consider coming to Welland? And she says, this is on me. She said, well, where the hmm is Welland? You know, and I told her and she said, well, I guess so. She checked her schedule. She said, I guess I were. Uh, if, could you pick me up at the airport? And I said, yes. And she said, well, that's fine. And then I said, well, I'm a little embarrassed. Can we afford you? And she said, well, I have one company pays all my travel. The U.S. Navy pays my wages. What do I have to charge you for? So she came up and we had a meeting at the old Casa del Toro over here and it was perfect and she was so interesting she's dead now but she was on 60 minutes three or four times and her name is hopper if you ever want to look on your on gmail you'll see it but anyway uh, that was one of my and I, I told many of the ladies up here that the most interesting people that i've met in my life have been women and i i don't mean because of looking in swimsuit books or anything like that but at Roselawn and you'll be familiar with Roselawn I'm sure all is the uh, the girl in the picture Denise Chong wrote that book the girl in the picture so I met Denise there and bought the book and she signed it eight years later the girl showed up in Waynefleet her name is Kim Fu and I walked in the church was so completely packed I got goosebumps up and down my back because I seen her standing on the steps and I was the only one around and I walked over and I called her by name and she said, you have my book, where did you get it? And I told her, a guy from the church came out and took our picture together and I treasure it. And right now somebody else is reading it, but I've lent it to so many people because her story is so fantastic, you know. I first moved to Welland uh, prior to being married and then uh, I met my wife at Canada Foundries in Welland. We were both working there. And then we got married. And I, so we lived in Welland for a year or two. And then I bought an old farm in Waynefleet. And then I ended up back in Welland because my wife passed away and I didn't want to be out there by myself. My favorite author is John Grisham. And uh, I like uh, the kind of adventure stories, and I do like uh, biographies as well, very much. And uh, I guess uh, anybody that goes to Roselawn likes books. So, and right here, I love it down here, but a lot of them we've read. I'm showing a picture of a, the book that we put out for our charity called Maple View Charity in Welland. And we started it about 26 years ago and the money came from the old Bellerophon Sea Cadet Corps and we've decided from the beginning that we're registered with the federal government and our mandate is children up to 19. So we do bursaries in all the high schools in Welland and Port Colborne and E.O. Crosley every year and we've done uh, a lot of kids that kind of fall through the cracks they can't get help we help them like there's been families where they couldn't afford the prescriptions for the kids. And we went to the pharmacy and said, we'll pay for it. And it's, it's not coming out of my pocket and pointing to me, but 
the money that was raised, the, most of the guys are dead now from bingos and what have you. But we have given away, at the time of this printing, we've given away over $350,000. And there's still money there. It's, uh, people just have to make an application to get it. So it's my, that took up a lot of my time over the years. And I, I love the, we didn't get that much publicity. So a lot of people don't know about it. But uh, uh, we've done a lot of things in the community. And I, I like doing that because you get to meet so many nice people. We used to do, uh, there's a, a group of us that worked in Atlas Seals, Canada Foundries, and there was a lot of industry then. And every Friday we made it a, a, a kind of a routine. We'd go to Louis Fish and Chips on East Main Street, or we'd go to the Blue Star. And uh, we always got treated good in both places. And uh, we, our most of our entertainment took place in the old St. Stephen's Hall. And that, there was always dances there on a Friday night. And, uh, and all the ethnic halls had parties going on. And I think that a lot of people miss out on that now because it was a good place to grow up in because you met people from every nationality. When, when my wife and I were married about two years, we bought an old farm in Wainsley. She wanted to live in the country, I wanted to live in Welland. But anyway, she got her way. And we lived out there until uh, till she passed away, really. So we were out there for a long time and we were married for 51 years before she passed away. And the young lady here uh, does some of the same things that my wife did because my wife was a woodcarver. And uh, she also did uh, paintings and everything, and music and you name it, anything you could do with your hands, she could do. And she could wake me up in the middle of the night playing her organ. <laughs> and but we went all over North America for the wood carving. And uh, had she she had a lot of success with it. And I'm sure I'm sorry I, your first name again was is that all right? To, no. Okay. Uh, can, Family, we didn't have any children, but I have so many nieces and nephews. And uh, just recently, I was at a funeral in Niagara Falls, and there was over 200 immediate relatives there. So uh, my mother came from a big family, and so did my father. And my wife's family wasn't anywhere near that size, but we didn't have any children of our own. I liked Welland because I was always in sports and most of the sports was taking place here. And uh, I've been in this facility for a little over three years now and I like it because it's friendly and I could afford it. For anybody's information that's young and wants to get involved in things, get involved in your community. And uh, if people ask you why you're involved, just tell them that when you see a smile on someone's face, you know it's worthwhile. And uh, it's, it's very rewarding to help other people and children as well. <laughs>